Hello there, I am Giant Crow from my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we headed west on Route 29, I believe, and we also made it to Draco City. We got the map card from the guy who gave us a tour at the that we ran into when we entered the city, or Draco City, I should say. So I guess it's still a city. I'm gonna take my Pokemon gear, a Poke gear. So yeah, we went to um. Route 29 and then Cherry Grove City and now we're on Route 30. We went to see Mr. Pokemon. Uh, we got the Mystery Egg from him. We got Pokedex from Professor Elm. Battle to Arrival who we later named uh, Smat, which is a mixture of Sam and Matt. Um, Sam Little TBC and Matt Pissword, two of my real friends. I spelled it S A S M A T T, Smat. Yeah, and um, I think we did, that's really all we did, um, I could be missing out a couple of things. We also told our mom not to save our money for us because she uses our money on random things we might not like and puts in a, a PC later on when she calls us saying, oh it's in your PC, I, I spent it with your money, sorry. <laughs> so that's why we haven't, we're not telling our mom to save our money for us, so that's why. So let's uh, take on some trainers here. We also caught um, a Hotoot and nicknamed it Oliver, so yeah, I'm not, I'm, I just, lost so I'm trying to find uh, more Pokemon also um I think uh Megan's up to level 8 and she she he learned um Razor Leaf at level 8 so that's pretty cool wait you look weak come on let's battle <laughs> now no it's not really nice to make uh to, to make assumptions based on what you see but I'll prove you wrong youngster Joey so this youngster Joey will have a um Rata that's level 4 I believe and it's male okay cool that's right awesome so yeah, I'm going to use this little switcher trick here. Um, Oliver did get a little experience, I guess, in the last part. Um, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. So I'm going to switch over to Megan, and Megan will use... I'll, I'll tell Megan to use uh, Raised Leaf. Yeah, so Megan's not... Didn't have full HP coming on this battle, but that's okay. We still got this Raised Leaf hit, so that's good. This red has level 4, and male has level 4. As before, yeah, okay, yeah. It puts in the red health, so that's good. It's gonna use, this red is gonna use tail up now. It's gonna use tackle to finish it off. It hits awesome. That's what I like to see. Okay. Cool, I'll have a good level 4. Awesome. Yeah, nice. Youngster Joy was defeated. Hack, I lost again. Doggone it. Next risk for Pokedollars. 64 Pokedollars. And if you, uh, after the dialogue, they may say send some, send us, send some to mom, as in Pokedollars. Um, but since we didn't tell our mom to save our money for us, they won't say that. So yeah. So you're a Pokemon trainer, right? Um, then you have to battle. Well, I guess we did make eye contact, so that makes sense. I think this is a bug catcher or another youngster. Oh, it gets another youngster. Okay, cool. This is youngster Mikey. He has two Pokemon. One's a Pidgey. I think he'll have a Pidgey level 2 and a Rata level 4. I could be wrong. This Pidgey is also male, so that's cool. Let's go for the tackle, see how much it'll do. Uh, we'll double its level, so hopefully we have the upper hand, which we technically do, really, if you think about it. So it's a tackle war, basically, right now. Tackle, tackle. So hopefully one more tackle should faint this Pidgey, but I could be wrong. I don't want to underestimate this Pidgey's potential and whatnot, because that'd be mean. But yeah, when my tackle does faint it though. Okay. That's my doesn't that Rata. So is this Rata level 4? The moment of truth is right here. Right now. It's level 4 male. Okay, cool. Let's switch over to... I didn't even get out of my pack, darn it. I'm gonna go to my Pokemon. I'm gonna switch over to Megan. Oh, Megan's level 9, not level 8. Okay, cool. I thought just Megan was still level 8. Okay. Nice. Let's go for the Razor Leaf on this thing. Okay, cool. There we go, one K awesome. Nice. Youngster Mikey was defeated. That's strange, I won before. I'm sorry, man. Thanks for the 64 pocket dollars, man. What if we read this sign? Trainer tips. Um, no stealing other people's Pokemon. Pokemon is only meant to be thrown at wild Pokemon. That is true, so don't try stealing other trainers' Pokemon in one battle, because they block the Pokeball and say, hey, don't be a thief, or something along those lines. I'm not a trainer, but if you look, in, but if you look one in the eyes, prior to battle. That's true, because we made eye contact. That's like the sworn rule. Okay, all of a good level 5 at the end of this battle, that's like level 2 I believe, so that's awesome. So yeah, as I was saying, uh, this one rule of, you know, trainer battles is if you make eye contact like I just did with this trainer, who is a bug catcher I believe, um, you'll have to battle them really, so don't, if you don't want to battle them, just avoid eye contact with them or avoid them completely, try to walk around them and stuff like that. Instead of a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. 
Yeah, you did. So I think this is Bucketcha Wade. I don't know if I how I can. I uh, think it's Bucketcha Wade. If I were to guess, because I recently did like a. Okay, it's Bucketcha Dawn. Okay, whatever. Uh, because I recently did like a practice play through this game before I did this let's play, because I want to practice a little bit more of the game, like at the very beginning at least. Or no, uh, I got in my practice file. I got all the way up to um. Mahogany Town, but that's all I got up to like the route before it was really the last route I covered And I didn't cover I didn't cover anything in Mahogany Town other than the Pokemon Center, but yeah So that's so much of practice up to it, you know, I think after that I'll be pretty good like, I wanted to see if a certain thing would happen with training and stuff But I don't, I don't want to spoil it that has to do with like some of my team members my permanent team members So uh, permanent party members however you want to call it Let's go for the uh, the tackle on this thing. This guy is level three in male. Just about one third. Awesome. Let's get a string shot to lower all of his speed. Okay, that's cool. Thanks, man. Another tackle. Okay, cool. I do like the trainer battle music. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's a tackle right now. Nice. Well, I'm dealing damage. He's dealing damage. We're all dealing damage. Good quote. I'll take it. Nice. Okay, Caterpie, nice. Okay, would you like to change Pokemon? Nope. Ham. I'm feeling pretty confident, you know? Let's go for the tackle on this thing. Just tackle on that. So much I'll do. 2 HP. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that it only does 2 HP here. Yeah, okay, cool. And uh, wait, does it outspeed me though? Yeah, it probably outspeeds me, so I'm gonna use a healing item actually. I'm gonna use a potion. Yeah, there we go, nice. Yeah, awesome. It fully healed it to 20 HP. It healed exactly 20 HP. Awesome. So awesome. That's great. That's good for us, I guess. Because we, we were full healed for a second for Oliver. Well, Oliver was full healed for a second. And now, then the Kaipi used a couple more tackles, you know, to ruin that. But that's okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, but Ketri Dom was defeated. Cool. Aren't you too strong? Oh, Arg, you're too strong. Thanks for 40 Pokedollars, Dawn. <laughs> So about right here, well, I'll, sh I'll tell you guys, about right here is when your mom would call you if you didn't say goodbye to her uh, after leaving New Bark Town for that second time and after getting the Pokeballs basically from the professor's aid and uh, telling, uh, you know, return back to the lab after the Pokemon was stolen from your, your rival that stole the Pokemon from the lab, Professor Elm's lab. So yeah, she'd say like, oh, I wish you would have told me that you were leaving. So yeah, I took down that Poliwag, or what Oliver did, and Oliver got the 4 formal experience, and Oliver got level 6 and 1 foresight. Cool. I think at level 10, uh, uh, Oliver will earn Peck, which is cool, because it's a flying time move and it's same type attack bonus. This is Dark Cave. Uh, you'll need Flash if you want to see in here, but I think there's there's obviously a way you can do it, get through here without using Flash, but like, you'd have to hug the walls and stuff in another pattern. But yeah, I think you can get Zubats and Machops and Geodudes in there, I believe. That's pretty cool. So we get potions, that makes it the one we used. Um, I think this sign just says Dark Cave, right? Yeah, Dark Cave, cool. Um, let's see, your Dark Cave. If Pokemon could, if, if Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Yeah, I might go back to it later, but again, that's probably a place I won't recover, along with the Ruin of Alps, and then catching Raikou and Entei, unless I run into it, you know, like, on, uh, on my adventure or something, like, not trying to run into it. But then again, I might try to purposely try to run into, run into them using the repel method, but, again, it takes just, it's a long process, and I've never been really lucky with getting all three in Crystal before. All three legendary dogs, I guess you'd say, or beasts, or whatever you want to call them, or hamsters. Yeah, okay, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> I walked too far today, looking for a Pokemon. Uh, my feet hurt and I'm sleepy. I feel if I were a one Pokemon, I'd be easy to catch. Z oh, that, that makes, yeah, if you put Pokemon to sleep, it's easier to catch. That's what he's trying to hint at. A bit of berry, I believe that he has confusion, so that's pretty cool. We picked, yeah, we have one, I guess. So yeah, I'll take it. Okay, cool. So let's see here. If I go to my, let's just read the description of, of that real quick. Self cure uh, for confusion. You can is a it can be as just used as a health item too. So that's awesome. Here's another bug catcher. This might be bug catcher weight I was talking about earlier. I could be wrong though. I caught a bunch of Pokemon. Let me battle with you. Sure. So he has like a lot of. I think he has like four Pokemon. He may have like two Caterpies and two Weedles. I know he has one of each. So he definitely has one Weedle and one Caterpie. So yeah, he has four Caterpie or four bug Pokemon all together. I should say. So this is Caterpie is level 2, 
That's cool. Let's go for the tackle. I'm gonna be I'm gonna when I when I rearrange the moves, I'm gonna make sure the longest name, the longest move, no matter what it is, it goes first, then the second longest, then the third longest, and the fourth longest. Because I like how that looks on the menu list for generation two. So yeah. That's why I have Razor Leaf, um Megan's Razor Leaf in the first slot for uh, the move set, you know. The very top I should say. Because it's the longest so far. And I think it's probably gonna be the longest name of a move that uh Megan knows for its her, for his final move set. You know? <laughs> okay. Cool. Let's go for the tackle. Okay, it does about over one third. And oh, that one takes it out. Awesome. Another tackle takes it out. Okay, cool. I was about to send out. Okay, this is Bucket Your Word. Cool. He's gonna send out a Weedle, I think. No, it's a Caterpie. Dang, I missed it with that. So this is Caterpie. It's also level 2. Let's go for another tackle. So yeah, this Caterpie is level 2 in male. Nice. Let's just tackle on us. It only does 1 HP on Oliver, so that's good. Oliver is gonna keep on using tackle though. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Another Caterpie. So I think he has 3 Caterpies and a Weedle then. This Caterpie is probably also male and level 2. I was right. Awesome. Cool. So let's get into another 1 HP. Okay, on Oliver. So Oliver is gonna use tackle again. Be awesome. Let's use another tackle. Hopefully, another tackle will faint this Caterpie like it's been doing the. The past two Caterpies with just two tackles being able to live to defeat the Caterpie level 2 in male. And it, I was right. It was, I was right. Awesome. Cool. So uh, here's the Weedle I was talking about. So he has two Caterpies and a Weedle. Watch out for Poison Sting on this thing. and can poison your Pokemon. That's not fun, honestly. If there's a antidote or go to the Pokemon Center to heal it, you know. Yeah, okay. The Poison Sting does 2 HP. So that's pretty cool, I guess, for Bucketcher Wade. So, okay, another tackle. One tackle she does about one third, so that's cool. Another uh, poison sting does two HP, and the another tackle takes out the uh, Weedle. So yeah, and with that, uh, all of a good level seven, awesome. So we defeat Bucketcher Wade. Oh, thanks for the thirty-two Poké dollars, man. I'm sorry. Here's a Pokeball, very worth picking up. It's always get It's always cool getting a few Pokeball. And uh, yeah, we can catch Bellsprout, I believe, in this new patch of grass area. Uh, the Serrat, I should say it all together. I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you smell. No, I'm just kidding. I just don't prefer to talk to you right now. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. If I'm even gonna talk to you. Okay. So I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I believe if you go in this house, if you sh if you uh destroy this guy in my shop, he will give you an Onyx. A Pokemon trade uh, you get in. A Pokemon you get in trade grows quickly. Yeah, it gets a boost of experience actually for being traded Pokemon you got in a trade at least. Okay, but if you don't have the right amount, right gym badge, they may disobey you. That's good to know. Is it you that gives us the Onyx for the Machop? Okay, I cooked Pokemon. Do you have a Bell Sprout? Oh, it's a Bell Sprout. Do you want to trade it for my Onyx? Um, no. I you can catch Bell Sprout on the route I was just on that I talked about where Bell Sprout could be caught, and uh. It's good for the first gym because the first gym is a flying type gym. If you start with Chikorita like me, I guess Onyx wouldn't, would actually make a good term for a party member if you don't want to use the long term. It takes a while for it to evolve into Steelix because you have to trade it with someone and have the metal coat as a hell. You have to make it hold the metal coat as a held item and then trade it to evolve into Steelix. But uh, since I'm playing this off an emulator, I can't really do trades of a Pokemon by trades because I don't have it set up or anything. I think there's a way you could do it with the Visual Boy Advance, but. Uh, I don't know how to set it up, and I'd rather just use Pokemon that I know don't have to evolve by trade, I guess. So yeah. Let's uh, go into Pokemon real quick. Let's see, okay, the music doesn't change. Okay, let's see, there's anything I want to sell. Uh, I guess not, nope, okay. Let's go buy, um, let's buy like two more Pokeballs. Let's buy two more potions. Okay, I'm running low on HP, on, um, items that, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run money actually, so I'm gonna stop there actually. I, I don't wanna have like 600 Poké Dollars left, right? 658, yeah, I should stop there. I don't wanna, I wanna, I don't wanna spend too much money, you know? I don't wanna be a lot of money, that'd be bad. There is a Pokémon I wanna catch in this grass over here. I think it's only in Crystal that you can catch this Pokémon right here. And, um, it's where this patch of grass is. It's a Growlithe, so I'm gonna try to find it. Um, I have all of it front. Okay, cool. It does no roar, I believe, at, like, the level level, so it's gonna try to, like... It's gonna try to, like, make my Pokémon run away in fear, I guess. So I'm gonna... S hopefully I can find it soon or something. It's a 5% appearance rate. Okay, that was a Spinark, and it poisoned, uh, it poisoned 
for all of her. So I'm gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick because I don't really want to use an antidote because I'm lazy. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'll be back. I, I'll be back in a sec. I'll be right back. I should say. Okay, so here I am back on this route, which is route um. I'll be the sign actually because I don't want to go to my Pokemon Gear yet. Um, this is route 36. Oh, and by the way, I should mention uh. Right here, um, there's this weird looking tree. When you just talk to it, it just shakes like that, it like dances. Huh, we have to get, and there's no way to get through it, get by it, so. We have to get, go back to that way, I guess. Yeah, well, hey, I'm going to snap, okay, yeah, snap, okay. Punch, but I couldn't, I'm a failure. You tried to punch the tree or something? Jeez. I guess you're a failure, I'm sorry, man. There's actually a different item we have to get to move, help, yeah. That was a hoot hoot level 5. I was about to say, there's like another, there's an item we have to get to make that Pokemon move, really. You know, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe this is only in the morning or daytime because I don't know if you can find the Pokemon Growlithe at night here, but I could be wrong. That was a Bell Sprout. Yeah. Can you not find growth at night or something here? I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do actually is you saw right there, I didn't really commentate over it, but uh um but already go to level eight, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna end the part right here actually, and I'm gonna just change my clock to either the day or morning time if I need to change it. And I'm already at 18 almost 19 minutes of recording time anyway, so I think this is a good stopping point. So in the next part we'll definitely catch a growth and we'll go into the Sprout Tower and go from there. And uh uh the Sprout Tower is in Violet City by the way. So yeah. So this has been Janko again. I would like to finish King goodbye and I'll see you guys next time on my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough guide.